your student teacher in this topic. And today, we will discuss code switching and code mixing. But before that, we will look at first our learning objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to discuss code switching and code mixing, differentiate code mixing and code switching, and demonstrate attentive listening. So, code switching and code mixing. Let me ask you first, have you tried to speak English at first and switch to Visaya? Or have you tried to mix English and Visaya when you talk to others, especially your friends? So in most places in the world, there are not only dialects, but several languages present in a community. The speakers possessing varying degrees of facility. So just like here in the Philippines, you can speak more than one language like Tagalog, Visaya, Ilongo, English, and so many others. So in these multilingual situations, when we say multilingual, it is a person who can speak several languages. The codes that is language varieties or languages often become blended. This is so common that linguists have special terms for this blending code switching and code mixing. Let us tackle first, what is code switching? So according to Einar Halpin, who was a professor at Harvard University and was born into a Norwegian family in the U.S. and grew up bilingually, he emphasized that code switching is when a bilingual introduces a completely unassimilated word from another language into his speech. So when we say bilingual, it is a person who can speak two languages. According to Carl Meyer Scotton, who was a professor of University of Carolina and, a, and an American linguist, said that code switching is a selection by bilinguals or multilinguals of forms from an embedded variety or varieties in the transcess during the same conversation. While Iyanka Bukamba emphasized code switching is the mixing of words, phrases, and sentences from two distinct grammatical or subsystems across sentence boundaries within the same speech event. So when we say code mixing, according also to Iyanka Bukamba, it is the embedding of various linguistic units such as affixes or bound morphemes, or words or free morphemes, phrases and clauses from a cooperative activity where the participants, in order to infer what is intended, must reconcile what they hear with what they understand. For example, in code switching, the Spanish or English bilingual who says, sometimes I'll start a sentence in English a termino in Espanol and finish, or finish it in Spanish. Take note the highlighted words here. So from English, sometimes I'll start a sentence in English, swift or switch to Spanish, a termino in Espanol. Another example, this was from the interview of so Jessica so said, Kung mayroon kang binila, kunin mo yung kabilang side. In English, if you attack somebody, then get the other side so that both sides are fairly presented. So the highlighted words here are Tagalog or Filipino. So from Tagalog, switch to English. So that is code switching. While code mixing, the Japanese or English bilingual says, Kawaii susuno ba? So, Kawaii susuno Kawaii susuno are Japanese words, and Bob is an English term. So, in English, that Bob is so beautiful, or oh, that poor Bob. So, incorporating the English word for insect, Bob, into the Japanese. So that is code mixing. Another example. Sa 
Team A, yung objectivity has become part na of the culture. So, the highlighted words are English. So, Team A, objectivity has become part of the culture. is mixed with Tagalog words. Sa yung Sa Team A, yung objectivity has become part na of the culture. So, that is code mixing. So the important thing in these situations is that a person capable, capable of using two languages, for example, Visaya and English, and another form of language, which is a combination of A and B. So mixing and switching, or code mixing and code switching, probably occur only in bilingual or multilingual person. So it is not applicable to monolingual because they can only speak one language. So before we end our topic, I will impart you the one of my favorite quote of Frank Smith. So Frank Smith said, one language sets you in a corridor for life Two languages open every door along the way. So that's all for today and